Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. It's really exciting. It's such an opportunity for the club members to play against these top bowlers and, and watch them. And we just la love having them here to support them. It's been a great day. And how did you get on against them? Well, you know, we got beaten. Uh, <laughs> we played a few good shots, but yeah, they're quite good. Yeah, a really friendly club, very competitive to be honest, uh, high quality bowling, so you know, it's a great place to, to come in and improve your game playing with, with stronger players. I think they'll get on well, yeah, our, our men are really strong, we've got a couple of uh, junior internationals expecting them to do great things, obviously Daniel won the 125 singles last year, so the club will be over supporting them and we expect them to get a fair way through the rounds. If you want to look at some high quality sport that's exciting, you can get really close up to international players, you should definitely come along, it's a great day out. Well, uh, it's an interesting story actually. I was a member of a local women's institute uh, in Leamington and we decided that, you know, having the national finals here, we ought to go and have a go at playing this long bowls thing. So about 20 or 30 of us turned up at Victoria Park, had a go. I got bitten by the bug, joined the club, been playing ever since. Uh, very carefully, yes. I have a very packed and well organised calendar. <laughs> um, you kind of just have to make sure not one thing takes over your life. It's very easy. It's funny actually, when I first started playing bowls, somebody said, oh, you, know, you have to be careful, if bowls might take over your life. I'm like, no it'll be fine and now you know playing for the county and the club I'm on the board it's like that hasn't taken over my life at all no. well the whole focus of the strategy is driving up participation so we want to get as many people playing bowls whether that's new bowlers people who've played before coming back to the sport so that we've got thriving clubs um, and, and part of that is letting clubs have more casual approaches to bowling but also the profile of the national finals, the live streaming, all this kind of thing. The, the more eyes we can get on the sport the more people will want to try to play it. So yeah. Oh really good question. Um, it kind of feels like my sporting home but also it's, it's like a mindful activity for me. Once you're on the green, you can't be thinking about other stuff. I can't be thinking about the board meetings. I can't be thinking about my client work. You just have to be thinking about bowls. It's a complete break.